running game is the heart of offensive football. So the defense against the run is the heart of defensive football. Defense of football is a game of reaction. Reaction to the offense as it declares and tries to carry out its intention. In the final analysis, therefore, defense is play recognition. But that play recognition must be prefaced by the responsibility of each man at each position. Now let's consider the positions and the responsibilities in the overall defenses against the run, starting with the 4-3 inside. And we'll look at it on computer animation. The strong side linebacker. If the offensive end is in a close position, two yards or less, the strong side linebacker positions on his outside shoulder. If that end is in an open position, two yards or more, the strong side linebacker positions head on the end. His initial move was to step into the end with his outside foot for his best chuck. His primary responsibility is the off tackle hole. He will have secondary help wide. He keys that in. If the end blocks down, he goes down with him. Above all, he must not get hooked by that end. The strong side defensive end. Positions on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. If the offensive end is in the close position, the strong side defensive end will step into him with his outside foot. He reacts if that end blocks in. If not, he reacts to the tackle's move. He fights the pressure from either the end or the tackle to help outside or inside. If the tackle blocks down, he plays the trap. The strong side tackle takes a position three feet off the ball and head on a guard, and usually in a four-point stance. He steps with his inside foot to the inside shoulder of the offensive guard. He reacts to the block. If none, that is, if there is no block, he plays trap. His responsibility is the inside. Let's put it another way. He must not get trapped, or he must not be driven out by the guard. The middle linebacker takes a position head up on the center, one and one half yards deep. He moves in the direction of the backfield action. He fills the hole inside the defensive ends and reacts to the offensive tackles. His first responsibility is the hole between defensive end and tackle. His secondary responsibility is the off tackle and end run. The weak side tackle's position, movement, and responsibility are the same as that of the strong side tackle. Three feet off the ball, head on the guard, and in a four-point stance. He steps with his inside foot to the inside shoulder of the guard. He reacts to the block. He must not be trapped. His responsibility is from the weak side offensive tackle to the strong side guard. He must not get trapped or be driven out by the weak side guard. The weak side end takes a position on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. When the offensive end is tight to his side, he moves into the offensive tackle, reacts to his block. When the end is split to his side, he works in or out with the linebacker on his side. When the end is tight, he closes the inside hole. When the end is split, he works with the linebacker, or he keys the tackle. The weak side linebacker's position depends upon the defense call. He works with the end. Against the split end, he keys the guard and tackle for quick reaction. When he is on his end's hip, he works inside, outside with that defensive end. We have just seen the 4-3 inside on computer animation and also the game action to illustrate our points. I would now like to show you the 4-3 outside, the 4-3 under, and the 4-3 over, and again on computer animation in sequence for better continuity. The strong side linebacker's position is the same as it is in the 4-3 inside. When the end is close, he is on the outside shoulder. When the end is open, 
He is head up on that end. He steps with his outside foot into the offensive end and reacts to the end's move. He keys the end. He helps the defensive end on the off tackle. He reacts to the end run. The strong side end plays one foot off the line versus an end who is tight or close. He steps into the end with his outside foot. He reacts to that end if the end blocks down on him. If not, he reacts to the tackle's move. His responsibility is the off tackle hole. Otherwise, he fights the pressure and reacts as a football player. The strong side tackle's position is the same as it is on a 4-3 inside. Three feet off the ball, head up on the guard, and in a four-point stance. He steps with his outside foot to a position where the guard cannot hook him and reacts to the guard's block. His whole responsibility is between the strong side offensive guard and tackle. The middle linebacker position is the same as it is in a 4-3 inside, one and one half yards deep. He keys the center. He meets the center's charge. He reacts to his block and plays the center's shoulder. His responsibility is between his two offensive tackles. He must not let the center or a folding guard block him out of the hole. Weak side tackle. Position is the same as it is in a 4-3 inside. Head up on the guard, three feet off the ball, and in a four-point stance. He steps with his outside foot to a position where the guard cannot hook him and reacts to the guard's block. His responsibility with a tight end to his side is the hole between the offensive guard and tackle. When the end is split, his charge is straight, reacting to the guard's block. The weak side end's position is the same as it is in a 4-3 inside, on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. His initial move is the same as the strong side end's, except when the linebacker is on his hip. Then he works inside, outside with that linebacker. The weak side linebacker, his position depends upon the pass coverage. As in a 4-3 inside, he works with his end when he is in a hip position. When on the end's hip, he works inside-outside. Against a split end, he keys the guard and tackle and forces the end run from the outside. If the balanced defense, the 4-3 defense, does not hold up to the side where the offensive formation is strong, you may shift your lineman to that side. For example, a brown formation is strongest to the weak side, or that is, to the side away from the flanker. Therefore, you would shift your lineman to that particular position. We call this the under defense. The lineman shifted to the weak side of the formation, and the linebacker shifted to the strong side. In the 4-3 under, the strong side linebacker takes a position the same as he does in the 4-3 inside and outside. In other words, when the end is close on the outside shoulder, when the end is open, he is head up on that end. He steps with the outside foot into the offensive end and reacts to the end's move. He keys the end, and he helps the defensive end in the off-tackle hole. The strong side end positions on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. He steps into the tackle with his inside foot, reacts to the tackle's block, and keys on the guard. He may have a deal with the middle linebacker at any time. Middle linebacker, positions on the outside shoulder of the strong side guard, one and one half yards deep and off the line. He keys the guard, he reacts to his move or to his block. He must not be hooked in by the guard and he may work with the strong side end. When I say he keys the guard, if the guard pulls across the formation or back to the weak side, he should go with him. The strong side tackle takes a position on the strong side shoulder of the center. That is to the side the formation is set. He charges straight into the center and reacts to the center's block and plays the ball. When a pass shows, he always rushes the passer to the side that the flanker is set on, that is to the strong side of the formation. He is also responsible for the draw. The weak side tackle takes a position head up on the weak side guard. He charges with inside foot through the guard. His responsibility is to close the inside hole. He may work with the weak side linebacker. The weak side linebacker takes a position on the outside hip of his defensive tackle. His responsibility is the hole between the defensive end and the tackle, and he may work with the defensive tackle. The weak side end 
takes a position on the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. He steps with his outside foot. His responsibility is to contain and play the near back's block. That is, the block of the back that is set to his side. He must not be blocked in by the tackle or by the back. He is responsible for the wide play. If the 4-3 defense, the even defense, does not hold up to the side where the offensive formation is strong, you may shift your lineman to that side. Therefore, against the red formation, which is strongest to the side to which the flanker is set, you may shift your lineman to that side. We call this the over, the strong side linebacker. If the offensive end is close, he takes a position on his outside shoulder. If the end is open, he takes a position head up. His initial move is to step into the end with his outside foot for his best chuck. His primary responsibility is the off-tackle hole. He has secondary help wide. The strong side end's position is outside the offensive strong side tackle. He charges on a straight line toward the fullback. He charges close off the tail of the offensive tackle. He keys on the guard. If the guards pull, it gives him a pretty good key that it's a sweep. His responsibility is to close the inside hole and react to the movement and block of the tackle. The strong side tackle positions outside the guard. He charges on a sharp angle through the outside shoulder of the guard. His responsibility is to close the inside hole. He reacts to the movement or the block of the guard. He must not be hooked in by the guard. The middle linebacker takes a position one and one half yards off the line on the outside shoulder of the weak side guard. He keys the guard. If the guard pulls, he goes with him. He reacts to the guard's move and to the guard's block. The weak side tackle takes a position on the weak side shoulder of the center. He charges straight into that center. He reacts to the center's block. He plays the ball. When pass shows, he always rushes to the weak side of the formation. He is responsible for the draw play also. The weak side end takes a position on the outside shoulder of the weak side tackle. When the end is tight to his side, he moves into the offensive tackle and reacts to his block. When the end is split, he works inside outside with the linebacker his side. The weak side linebacker's position, usually a hip position, when the end is split to his side. He keys the guard and the tackle for quick reaction. Works inside, outside with the end his side. He is responsible for the end run. Demolish every end run. A team that cannot keep its opponent from running to the outside is a team that has lost the control on which the defense against the running game is founded. So you must demolish every end run. As we know, the end run is basically a power off tackle. And when the ball carrier turns the corner clean, even though the middle linebacker and offside defensive halfback and safety are moving, the angle of pursuit is so great that they cannot hold this play down. Therefore, you must turn the end run back to your pursuit man and early. The end run is not difficult to stop, however. When the player is under attack, the outside linebacker, the defensive halfback, the safety, and the defensive end are coordinated. And by coordinated, I mean that it is predetermined either by the overall defense or by an audible call from either the halfback or the safety, which of the three types of end run forces will be used. And regardless of what type of force is used, there are three essentials to good end run play. A contained man, pursuit, and a man to check for a play pass. Let us consider first the halfback and safety forces, and they take their names from the back who will make the force and contain the play. In the halfback force, the position of the halfback is about five yards deep and one yard off the, off the outside shoulder of the wingback. This position, I might add, will vary according to what the pass defense is that's predetermined. Uh, one other thing I might add, too. In the, in the force of the halfback, usually when the wingback is close, in other words, in tight, he's very close to the YN, the halfback is usually always the forcer, and he then must only have one key, which is the flow of the backs. However, with a normal spread, with a normal position of the wingback, in other words, when the wingback is set out, 
The halfback's key, when he is the force man, is first the YN. In other words, if the YN blocks, he, he knows right now, usually, it is run, and he will play it as such. His secondary key, or his second key, are the near tackle and the near guard. In other words, the tackle and guard to his side. If they show run either by aggressive block or by pulling, he again has a key of run. And what he does, he forces from the outside. In other words, he comes up on an angle, but must force from the outside. How far he comes up, of course, depends upon how long it takes the play to develop. Sometimes he'll be up almost in the backfield. And what he does, and what he must do, is contain the play. He must force the runner back to the inside. He must force the runner back to the pursuit man who will be coming off the line of scrimmage, usually. The safety man lines up in the position five to seven yards deep, off the outside shoulder, about two yards off the outside shoulder of the YN. His key is also the YN. If the YN releases, he plays for pass. If the his second, his secondary key is again the tackle and guard. If they show run, he covers behind the halfback. He is the man who plays for the play pass, or the pass that comes out of the run. He will have to pick up the wing back if the wing back were to go straight down the field on a, on a pass. The linebacker, as we discussed in the 4-3 defenses, when the YN is tight, or in a close position, he is off the outside shoulder. If the YN is flexed or the YN is open a little bit, is spread a little bit, he plays head up. He steps into that end with the outside foot. He again keys the YN. If the YN blocks down, he must then pick up the key of the guard and the tackle. He is responsible for the off tackle hole. He must never be hooked by the YN. If the YN tries to hook him, he must fight to the outside. The defensive end takes, uh, uh, takes a position, a three-point stance with his inside foot advanced off the outside shoulder of the offensive tackle. He drives into the tackle. If the YN blocks down on him, he fights to the outside. His, ne his next key is the tackle. If the tackle blocks down, he plays for trap. If the tackle sets for pass, he rushes the passer. Actually, what happens is a contained man, cover for the run, fight to the outside, either penetrate or fight to the outside, hit on sweep, pursuit, cut back man, pursuit, chase man, pursuit. That's the way we contain an end run. This man, of course, with the flow of the backs, with these men coming on a sweep, he comes into the center, this man retreats slightly. In the safety force, the halfback's position is approximately five yards deep and one yard again outside the outside shoulder of the wing back. Because, of course, again, his position may vary according to the defense that is called. His primary responsibility, now his only key, I should add, is the wing back. And his primary responsibility here is pass. He does not key into the backfield, he does not key into the lineman, but rather just keys the wing back. The safety position could be five to seven yards deep, outside shoulder by two yards, or since he is the force man, he can cheat up a little bit. And the reason he cheats up a little bit, since he is the force man, and one thing he doesn't want to have happen to him is to have a crack back by the wing back on him with this man playing deep for pass and to wipe him out so he cannot contain and then the whole end run gets to his outside. So he will come up, usually cheat up a little bit so he can beat the crack back by the wing back. However, Again proves the point, as I mentioned previously, that the closer the flanker becomes, or the closer the wingback becomes, the more difficult it is for the safety to force. Because the closer he is, the easier it is for him to crack back. So usually, when the wingback takes a close position, it forces, rather than a safety force, it forces the defense to use a halfback force with the safety rotating back, as I just explained a moment ago. 
The safety's key on his force is again the YN, again the near tackle, and the near, the near guard. If the YN releases, he usually plays pass. If the YN blocks and these men show, show run, either by pulling or aggressive blocking, he will force from up on the outside. For example, if the guard blocks, he's got to be outside that block. He's got to force everything back to the inside, including the blockers. He's got to turn the play back. That's his primary responsibility. If the runner breaks off quickly to the inside, he spins off that block and comes back in a pursuit angle from the outside. The strong side linebacker has exactly the same responsibility as he does on the halfback force. Again, when the end is tight, he's outside shoulder. Steps with his outside leg into the YN and chucks him. If the YN is flexed or open, he plays head on. If the YN blocks down, he closes the off tackle hole. That's his primary responsibility, the off tackle hole. Secondarily, he will give outside help to an end run. The end, the defensive end has the same responsibility as he does in a halfback rush. Three point stance, outside foot up, steps outside shoulder, his position is, again, his key is the fight. If the YN blocks down on him, he fights to the outside. If the YN releases, he keys the tackle. If the tackle blocks down, he plays trap. If the tackle sets for pass, he rushes the passer. Again, the flow is important. They have to feel the flow. When the flow starts and all of these things happen, contain man, pass, secondary help on the run, follows the flow, release, and of course the pursuit is the same as it is in everything else. In the linebacker force of the end run, the halfback's position is the same as it was on the halfback force and the safety force. Five yards deep, one yard outside. Again, the position will vary according to what the pass defense was. And as it was in the safety force, his only key is the wing back. He has no key inside. In other words, his primary responsibility is pass. If the wing back releases, he's got a cover for pass. The safety man now, and I might add here for the halfback that if he does give help to the end run on the outside, it is late help. In other words, he makes sure that it's an end run first before he does anything else. Again, primary responsibility is pass. I want to make that very, very emphatic. The safety man now, if you notice in the other two defenses, he was two yards outside the YN. He now takes a position directly over the YN. And his key is the YN. If the YN releases, he plays pass. If the YN blocks and the flow comes toward him, he forces from the inside, inside the contain man, who in this case, in the linebacker force, is the strong side linebacker. The linebacker plays the wide end, YN, or keys the YN. The YN blocks and the flow comes to him, he immediately contains, he penetrates on the outside right now. His responsibility is the same as the halfbacks and the safety was on their responsibility when they were the contained men. It is now the linebacker. He forces everything back to the inside. If the play runs to the inside right now or shows to the inside, he spins off the block and pursues from the, from the outside. The end's responsibility, the same as it was, and the halfback and the safety force, all the pursuit of the same. I might say the position of the linebacker now is not outside as it was in the halfback and safety force, but rather head on, regardless of whether the end is flexed or not. But again, the flow and the YN are his two keys. If the YN blocks and the flow comes to him, he immediately penetrates on the outside and gets penetration. He gets into the backfield, so nothing can get outside of him. He forces everything in. He forces it to whom? He forces it to the end. He forces it to the tackle in its pursuit. He forces it to the middle linebacker, and the safety man comes up hard on the inside side and usually makes the tackle right on the line of scrimmage. We call this the, the, uh, the linebacker force. One other maneuver, one little bit of a gamble you can take here once in a while. The end and the linebacker can exchange. In other words, the end can be the force man. On a snap of the ball, the end immediately moves to the outside and the linebacker covers him to the inside, just like this. We call that a tango type of operation. Dangerous. Because the YN blocks down and hits that X, uh, EN, or the, X, or the, uh, the uh, defensive end, shuts him off, and this man comes inside, it's Katie bar the door on the outside. Remember the important points in all successful end run play. There must be a contained man 
to turn everything back. There must be pursuit, and there must be gang tackling by everybody on a team. Let's demolish every end run.